Laxuan AI has taken the world by storm as the best open sourced AI image generation model that you can run locally on your own computer. On our last video, we have already seen how you can run Flux AI model in Comfy UI. But many people like me want the simplicity of automatic 11.11 web UI instead of all that node based workflow of Comfy UI. The good news is Flux is now available to access in Stable Forge. Stable Forge is basically built on top of automatic 11.11. So the interface is almost the same. To get started with Flux in Forge, you need four things. The Flux checkpoint model, a VAE model, a text encoder model, and a clip model. Currently, there are two open sourced Flux models available for us, the Chanel and the Dev models. There are also two pro models, but those are only available via API. Chanel is faster with slightly lesser quality of output and Dev is better but takes a lot more time to generate each image. So in simpler terms, if you have a more powerful graphics card with lots of VRAM, go with the Dev model, otherwise it's better to use the Chanel model. To download the models, go to the links in the description, put those models inside Stable Forge, OABY, Models, Stable Diffusion. For the VAE model, go to this link. Download this AE.SafeTensors file and paste it inside Stable Forge OABY Models VAE. For text encoders, again we have two choices FP8 and FP16 versions. Get the FP16 version if your PC is high on VRAM juice. If not, stick to FP8. The difference is not as significant as you might think. Copy this into Stable Forge OABY Models Text Encoder. And for the clip model, go to this link, download this and put this one also inside the text encoder folder like the previous file. Now go to Forge OABY folder and click on update to update it to the latest version. Now once you launch Stable Forge, the interface would look something like this with the option of Flux models right here. For checkpoint, select Flux, Chanel or Dev model according to your preference. You can see the VAE slash text encoder portion can now select multiple VAE files on top of each other. Now you have to select either FP8 or FP16 text encoder, the cliff file and the VAE file all together for this model to work. If you are using the Chanel model, set the sampling step to 4 and for the dev model, it should be 20. Now write a nice prompt and hit generate and the result is breathtaking from the get go. Let me try some other type of prompts. What I have found is in case of realistic photographs, the base model might be lacking a bit in some areas. But in case of fashion portrait or things like that, it really excels in quality. I have tried quite a few prompts with text already in my experiments and in case of most of the results, the text is really accurate. But all that performance that we have seen, that is based on the Chanel model. Once we introduce the Dev model into the mix, the situation totally changes. It outperforms the Chanel model in all the categories. Considering that you need to spend more than three times the time for the dev model to generate one single image and pretty soon it adds up to become huge if you are using this regularly in your projects. What if I tell you there is a secret trick where you can get the flux Chanel level speed from a flux dev model without sacrificing any quality that comes with it. Just jump onto this video right here. 